Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my sleek low bun hair tutorial. Um, I don't do many of these but this is quite a highly requested video. I always get questions on how I do my low bun and how I make sure there's no flyaway hairs so I thought that I would share the secrets with you guys and show you the products that I use. This is such a quick, easy, simple hairdo. Um, I do this all the time and it literally takes me a couple of minutes so this is probably not going to be a very long video but I thought that I would film this in a little bit more detail to go alongside the reel that I've just posted on Instagram so you can get a feel for how I do it and a little bit more of a step-by-step -step guide. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. If you want to see how I did this bun, then keep watching. So obviously I'm starting with my hair down. I actually washed my hair probably about, I think it was two or three days ago now. So whenever I first wash my hair, I always style it straight away. And then I'll keep that style in for however long it lasts, usually about two or three days. And then for the last two days before I do hair wash again, I will wear this sleek bun. It's so handy, it works best when my hair is just getting a little bit greasy. It's got all the natural oils in it. Um, it helps hold it all together. It does work on freshly washed hair as well. I just have to use a little bit extra product um, to get it to stay as slick. So I normally wash my hair, um, well I'm trying to wash my hair every four to five days at the moment um, just because it doesn't need washing that often um, and also this bun really helps keep it nice and smooth and soft. Also sometimes I pop the Olaplex number three through my hair and then do this bun and leave it for a day um, and then wash it out which is a really intense treatment for my hair but anyway as you can see I brushed it through my hair is straight um, and now I'm just going to do the bun for you okay so the first thing that you're going to need is a thin comb now I got this one from look fantastic I think it was really affordable um, no more than five pounds it's got a thin side and then a slightly thicker at the bottom there um, and I use this so much. I find it's really, really good for separating and parting my hair. And also um, it gets out all the knots and tangles really well as well. So as you can see, my hair is in a centre parting already. That's just how I normally wear it. Um, and then I'm just going to take the front sections of my hair, which are actually a little bit smaller anyway. Just that sort of size. And then the same on the other side. I'm just going to tie these together with a thin um, hairband just to keep them out of the way um, and I'll come back to that later. Sorry if this is a little bit distracting hanging in front of my face like this. But the next step is just to tie the rest of the hair into a ponytail. So I actually have a slightly thicker hairband to do this. This I actually bought from a drugstore in Budapest, so I can't link it, but I find that these are really, really good for thicker hair because um, they tend to hold it better. So I'm just going to use my tangle teaser to begin with to get all my hair into a nice ponytail and I'm brushing it back. As you can see, I've got rid of that middle parting. Because my hair is so thick and I have so much of it, it's actually really hard to get it into a flat ponytail straight away. So as you can see, I've just used the comb again. Um, and I think that's pretty much as good as I can get it. So I'm just gonna secure that um, towards the bottom of my head, probably around here. Um, as that's where I like to wear my bun. Obviously you can wear it higher up on your head, wherever you prefer. And then I'm just gonna go over again with the comb. There's a few bumps here. So just to smooth it all out. And now we can get rid of this unicorn horn hanging down. So now we've got these bits of hair, what I like to do is just take the comb again and brush them back, but keeping that little middle parting there at the front. Now, because my hair has got quite a few of the natural oils in it at the moment, um, because it needs a wash, it's sticking quite nicely without me having to do much. So this doesn't tend to work as well when my hair is freshly washed because it's all like fluffy and poofy and it doesn't sort of sit nicely. So I have to secure it quite quickly. So all I'm gonna do now is just tie those front pieces over the top of the other hairband I put in place on the ponytail to keep that nice and secure. And again, just go over it with the comb. Now this is already looking fairly sleek, but there are still a few flyaways, so we'll come to that in a second. But I am just gonna use a bit of hair oil now. I've got the Gizu um, Honey Infused Hair Oil, which is one of my favorites. Almost running out, good job I've got another one. 
Um, and I'm just gonna pop this through my ponytail just so this sort of twizzles around quite nicely um, and there's no flyaways in the actual ponytail. The ends are tied up and they can get a little bit like crinkly and broken um, because that's where the hairband tends to sit sort of on the ends. So it's quite nice to keep them hydrated whilst they're in the low bun. So all I'm gonna do now is just literally twizzle these. As you can see, the shorter bits of hair pop out at the top but they do get secured with the hairband. So on that goes. So that's the bun in place. Now to sleep down the flyaway hairs and make sure they don't pop back up when we go outside in the wind or anything, I'm using this paste. I believe the brand name is pronounced Way. Um, I could be completely wrong, so please correct me if I am. Um, but this is the matte pomade and I adore this. It's a really lovely sort of creamy, buttery consistency and it really sleeks down all the flyaways. So I just get a tiny little bit on my finger and what I like to do is place it along the edge of the comb. I feel like I get the best results when I'm doing that. So obviously then I just pop that straight through the hair. It does dry clear. Don't have to worry about the color of it. And then obviously just do the same thing on the other side. Where I tend to get the most flyaway hairs is here and here um, because that's where the shortest hairs of mine are. So I just like to put a little bit on my fingertips and smooth this area down just to make sure everything is in place. Of course you can put as much or as little of this on as you like. It is literally just like glue. Um, but it doesn't look like glue. It still gives you that nice glossy shine without like a sticky hairspray look. So that is my slicked back low bun hair tutorial. I really hope that was helpful for you guys. It's a really handy hairstyle that I wear so often. Um, it makes you kind of look put together, but it's really practical. Keeps your hair off your face if you're working. And it's really quick and easy. This literally takes me a couple of minutes in the morning and it lasts perfectly all day. So I will obviously leave the products that I used linked below. The key ingredients really are the comb and the pomade. Um, and with those two, you can't really go wrong. Do let me know if there are any other hair tutorials you would like to see. But apart from this and my curls, that's all I really do with my hair. But I am experimenting with the Dyson Airwrap a little bit more. So maybe you'll see another one of those soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed. And I will see you all next week with another video.